Lifeless Banter to bring to you the public service announcement from the good people at Heart Spoken Incorporated. Heart Spoken, doing our part to make music good again. And now, a word from our sponsor. I'm here with attorney Linda Bernard. I have a couple questions for you. Is that okay? Absolutely. Um, what experience do you have with the juveniles and youth in this area? I have a great deal of experience with juveniles and youth in this area. I created the Children's Law Center as a result of my work with Marion Wright Edelman, who's in charge of the Children's Defense Fund in Washington, D.C. In addition to creating the center, which represented youth prior to being expelled and in disciplinary proceedings in the schools, we also created a program called Beat the Odds, which was for kids that had, had just had incredible achievements even though they had had incredible adversity in their life. For example, one child was from Liberia. He was a ninth grader and his entire family had been slaughtered before him and now he was in the United States and he was getting A++ grades. I mean there were children that had significant disabilities. We work with those. And also as a result of my work with children, I became so involved that I think that just writing a check to children's issues is not enough. So in the Children's Law Center, we took a family with many children who, in fact, had been orphaned. And in one, one child in particular, I took as my own. Uh, she was five years old. Her, her mother had been stabbed to death by her father. Her father is incarcerated for 40 years. Jamie is mine. She's been mine for now 20 years. She was five years old when I got her. As a result of my work with, directly with children, I was named the WJR Radio Person of the Week. So, and it, all of that um, with respect to youth and kids, and, and of course I have strong feelings on juvenile issues because I've dealt with that court as well. That's wonderful. How do you think that experience will help you in the 36th District Court? Oh, I think it's, I think it's critical. Number one, uh, people are arraigned in 36th District Court. Unfortunately, many juveniles now are charged with felony offenses and, and charged as an adult. I've never quite understood that. I don't know how you can be a child for certain purposes and an adult for other purposes. For example, if a girl is 15 years old and she has sex with someone, then that's considered statutory rape if he's 17 or over 16. Now, for all practical purposes, sex is a natural act. But if she's 15 and she kills somebody or he kills somebody, then they're suddenly they're an adult. How do you reach that dichotomy? This is a legal dichotomy that only exists in the United States of America. In other countries, in every other civilized nation, children are children, adults are adults. It's not in between. It's like being a little bit pregnant. So it makes no sense to me. But in any event, um, I think that my experience with, with youth and with youth programs, I started the Children's Center for Justice and Peace here in Detroit with Wayne White County Neighborhood Legal Services. The Street Law Program is a program that was a Wayne County Neighborhood Legal Services program. The No Dope program was a program for legal services that we started, a peer mediation program, and, and of course, a mediation program that allowed youth to mediate their disputes. So, I mean, I have been intricately involved with youth, youth issues um, at all levels, both at the university level as well as at the high school and grade school level, because I served on the board of regents of Eastern Michigan University. I was the first African American to serve on that board. So I, I know I know kids, if you will, from primary to secondary to certainly graduate school and beyond. And I'm deeply committed to that. We interrupt your daily broadcast of boring life is banter to bring to you the public service announcement from the good people at Heart Spoken Incorporated. 